and I didn't understand what was going on. I ignored it. It continued with uh, Honorable Smiley, the Minister of Religious Affairs. I was doing my ministry in South Africa. And she was asked, why was CR1 deported? No, CR1 was busy initiating our young people into Satanism. CR1 was killing people. CR1, she made a lot of allegations. CR1 was sleeping with young boys in, uh, in uh, Zambia. I mean, I'm not a homosexual. I condemn it. I don't even, I don't know how that thing to me. But this news we are coming, you know, different things, different things. And I had no one to defend me in Zambia. It kept coming and coming and coming and coming. Many men of God, we are celebrating. See, one has been because when I was in Zambia, churches were closing, just like the way it's happening in Nigeria here now, just like the way it's happening in Imo State here now. Churches were closing. People were losing their members to me. And one thing you will never see me do is invite people to my church. I have never done it anywhere. I have never invited anyone to my church. Even those that believe me, even here on Facebook, you have never seen me come on Facebook and ask you to join me in my church. I cannot do that. My, my ministry does not look for people. People look for the ministry. My ministry does not evangelize. You can never see us carry poster, move around, come and take Jesus, come and receive Jesus. No, 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 no. I don't do those things. People that have problem are the people that look for my ministry. That is how it was happening in Zambia. So when I was deported, many stories were coming. One of the men of God, is not a man of God anyway, it's an idiot, Sunday Sinyangwe. I'm just mentioning men of God because I have because he has a church, so I must respect the church to, because he's a church. <laughs> if not, that man is a fool. He's an idiot. He's a local champion. <laughs> he's a woman. You know, it's nothing. In fact, you can see, I remember when I was in Zambia, the first day I performed miracle at his church. <laughs> Thousands. Where were you going to pack? Cars, thousands. Those days when you talk about standing in the gap, oh my goodness, standing in the gap overnight, it was stadium. Every, I think every last Friday of the month or what, I've forgotten how that, how that, but anytime you hear standing in the gap, my God, it was fire. But look at him today, since he fought C1, he cannot even manage to feel that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> Two by two, he built that he called short. <laughs> that thing he used his leg to measure. The measurement of that church building, he used his leg <laughs> and told the brinkley, oh, yeah, put block, yeah, put block. That useless building. <laughs> he can't feel it. <laughs> he can't feel that thing. You know? But I helped him. It, I am the one that raised money to, that built Shalom Embassy. I am the one. People gave when they saw the miracles that I performed there. People gave and gave and gave. Unbelievable. Because we have people see miracles, they give. That's why if you come to our church here in Nigeria, we, you don't, we don't even preach about giving. Once I tell people I carry and come, you will see people are running because they are seeing power. Where there is power, giving is very, very easy. You don't force people to give. They give because they are seeing something. And they know that when they give, they are blessed. So I raised a lot of money to build that canton by that uh, Sunday Sinyangwe calls, uh, call a uh, church. I told him that me, I am a parasite. I am a cancer. Once I, that's why I always tell people, avoid me. Don't look for my trouble. Avoid me. Like millipede, you know millipede. That disgusting. Avoid me like snake. When you see me run, go your way. I go my way. In businesses, you mind your business. You are, once you cross my path, I'm going to eat you until uh, you die. 
you there is no forgiveness i don't i don't forgive anybody i don't have time for forgiveness i will not that's why i don't look for trouble i don't have friends ask anybody that knows me i don't do things of organization or group of people no because i know that i don't have good heart once my problem starts it will it never finish you are going to ask for forgiveness i will forgive you but i will still be eating you i told him i warned him that i said ah, my dear this battle you have started you are going to end today go to shalom embassy it's full of hungry people and few the other day i was watching the overnight that they did and i went i felt pity for that man i said ha <laughs> is this uh, standing in the gap overnight those of you that are watching me right now you can bear with me when standing in the gap was standing in the gap today is it what it is no useless it's it's gone it's been messed up the church is gone and i'm still eating him i'm going to eat him until the day he dies because i don't forgive but he's the one that rose up hey see your one we have chased him away in the name of jesus he was diabolic he was initiating our men and women of god all those men and women of god that you said that i was initiating in zambia i didn't even want to talk about this thing today but somebody asked me a question i wanted to show you how i left south africa all those people that we are telling me that i was initiating when i was with them they were doing very well because i gave them the secret they had crowd of people they were not struggling thousands of people were following them when you took them and did your deliverance on them we have disconnected you from the spirit of c1 we have disconnected you from the spirit of godfather what is happening in their life today they have churches <laughs> i mean churches where you don't have 20 people on Sunday and you still call that a church. That is not even a cell group. Close that thing and go and look for something that you are going to do. There are business opportunities. A lot of businesses you can do. You can go and buy maize. Now there is no meal meal. You can go in the bush. Next year that will be a lucrative business. Close that your church. Sell those useless things you build. You call church building. Use it to do business and help yourself and help your family you are doing church you have your one year 50 members what are you doing there are you mad eh at jesus had 20 12 disciples those were workers jesus had thousands of people crowd does not matter by the way jesus had 12 disciples what do you call them disciples those were his workers but he had crowd Eh? Dr. Bishop Reverend Ngongolo, I'm coming to Abuja. I hope to meet you. Wow. I can't wait to meet you here in Nigeria. Dear Bishop, I love you. I love your comedy so much. Yes, after the broadcast, send me a, a message on WhatsApp, please, so that when you when you are, arrive in Nigeria, we'll meet. You are welcome to Nigeria. They had crowds when I was with them. They were doing very, very well when I was with them. You remove them and say that you 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 destroyed their demonic papa. Sunday saying we say he defeated C1. Uh -huh. At C1 was deported because of his prayer. You defeated C1. Your members is not up to up to fifth. <laughs> See what you are talking about here is here in Nigeria and the membership is in thousands, <laughs> uncountable. Who defeated who? Even when I was living in Zambia, I knew those of you that were my, my church members in Zambia, you, you know that I told you on Sunday that that would be the last Sunday you will see me. And on, on, on Wednesday, I was deported. <laughs> 